gosh. Well, I mean, mostly just to get kids reading over the summer to kind of prevent that summer slide. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Just, you know, during the school year in my community, kids are so busy that they don't have a lot of time to just spend at the library hanging out or reading for pleasure. Mm -hmm. So that's really important to us to give them that opportunity. They're extremely important just because um, it's, it's a way for, for teens to continue what they've been doing in school, in school all year long, and it's, it's an alternative to what they could possibly be doing <laughs> outside of school, and uh, it's a great way for them to grow and learn. expand some of the summer reading offerings. We were able to take a portion of the grant and buy some new materials for the kids that particularly related to this theme and also some of the books that they need for their summer reading list that the schools are asking them to read. We were able to buy some of those. But I think the biggest thing is it able to, enabled us to reach more kids and to get more kids involved in it. We set up a teen advisory board and we asked them to help us design the program. And then we had the funds to actually take the ideas that they had and then implement them. Mm -hmm. And you know, without this, we, we would not have been able to do that. We would have been able to put together a rudimentary program with not a whole lot of substance to it. Mm -hmm. So for that, we're very grateful. This year, we decided to use this grant money to, we're trying out a virtual badge system. Mm -hmm. And so teens can sign up to do a virtual badge and for every level they complete, for coming to programs, for reading different authors, they get a virtual badge. And we're using every badge they earn as an entry into a separate drawing, so we're going to give away a couple of nooks with that. Um, we've also used the money to fund, um, we call it Make It Mondays, and they get to come in on Mondays and with our mobile computer lab. We've made book trailers that we're going to start working on podcasts. Um, so we've kind of added a, a STEM element to our summer reading program because of that and to get more prizes. <laughs> um, we are able to Skype with an author this summer. Um, we are going to be Skyping with Marissa Meyer, um, who wrote Cinder. Um, it's, she, the students are really excited. Um, we've never... Um, we've never really done author visits at our library before and um, they're really excited to, to talk with her and to ask her questions about the book and her writing process and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. We're excited when we received it and we're so grateful to Elsa and Dollar General um, for it. Um, so it's, it, it's great because it helps us raise the bar in our programming and it helps us um, attract those teens that we never saw before. We were just extremely excited. Yeah. I have two people that I work with um, on my staff, mm -hmm. and one of them, he's he's probably, I think, 22, and the other one, um, you would think she was a young adult. She's my age, but mm -hmm. she you know, has her finger on exactly what's going on with these kids. She has teenagers at home. Okay. She reads all the young adult novels, so she knows exactly what's going on. So between the three of us, we just, well, they come to me with these ideas, and then I kind of rein them in a little bit, and then we meet in the middle, and, mm -hmm. and then it's just been incredible. We've had such a blast with this and we've appreciated it so much mm -hmm. and the kids have too I mean, like I said we have a girl who's in the program who never participated in a summer reading program before she knew about them her parents couldn't get her to participate she wasn't interested she thought the library was lame she comes every to every single program and she writes it on the calendar to make sure that her parents know exactly when the dates are so that they will get her up there to the library every Wednesday every Saturday She's brought a friend. I mean, this was a girl who didn't, she could care less about the things that were going on in the library. And now here she is, 14, 15 years old, and her parents said it, it means so much to them 